The Earth Awakens. How Beehive Geyser set off a chain. Reaction across the Pacific Ring of Fire. Yellowstone National Park, May 2025. Beneath the crystal blue skies and snow-dusted trees of Wyoming, a violent burst of steam and scalding water tore upward into the air, signaling the sudden eruption of one of Yellowstone's most iconic thermal features, the Beehive Geyser. Erupting with a thunderous roar, the geyser's narrow vent launched columns of water over 200 feet high, blanketing the landscape in mist and drawing the awe of nearby visitors. But unknown to those watching, this was not merely a display of geothermal theatrics. It was the beginning of something far more profound a subterranean disturbance that sent invisible waves of energy deep into the crust of the Earth and triggered an alarming chain of geological events across two ocean basins. The Hidden Beast Beneath Yellowstone Beehive Geyser's sudden and unusually intense eruption came after weeks of heightened hydrothermal activity in Yellowstone. According to the United States Geological Survey, USGS, pressure is under the park had been gradually building for months. Steamboat Geyser had experienced near-record eruptions earlier in the year and minor ground uplift was recorded across several geyser basins. Then, in late April 2025, a sudden pressure release occurred. The Beehive geyser eruption was not just impressive, it was abnormal. It lasted nearly seven minutes longer than average released significantly more energy than expected and was accompanied by a shallow tremor, measured at a magnitude 3.1 just beneath the upper geyser basin. High resolution, thermal imaging from drones showed unexpected heat anomalies across the area. GPS stations recorded ground deformation. The Earth, in certain sectors of the park, had risen by more than five centimeters in just a few days. More concerningly, seismic tomography revealed fluid movement beneath the caldera, molten magma shifting, laterally through deep underground reservoirs. According to Dr. Rachel Kimura, a volcanologist with the Yellowstone Observatory team, it was as though Beehive Geyser acted like a pressure release valve that destabilized the equilibrium of the entire hydrothermal and magmatic system. What we saw was just the tip of something moving far deeper. Magma on the march as researchers dug deeper, they discovered signs of magma mobilization underneath the Yellowstone supervolcano's vast chamber system. While a full eruption was not imminent, a disturbing sequence of micro-earthquakes echoed through the park. Nearly 301 week, suggesting that the magma was not only rising, but shifting laterally along fault lines and crustal weaknesses. Sakurajima The Giant Stirs Located on the southern tip of Kyushu Island in Japan, Sakurajima has long been a sentinel of seismic danger. Constantly active, it regularly emits small plumes of gas and ash. But what occurred in early May was anything but routine. 
Harmonic tremors, deep and continuous, signaled the ascent of magma. Then, at 6.47 p.m. local time on May 1st, a powerful explosive eruption shattered the evening calm. Lightning crackled through the ash cloud as pyroclastic material launched thousands of feet into the air. Volcanic rocks rained down on uninhabited. Slopes and lava surged from the Showa crater in a furious river of molten rock. The Japanese Meteorological Agency raised the alert level to its maximum and evacuated residents within a 5 kiliter radius. Satellite thermal imaging confirmed lava pooling within Sakurajima's central crater, and for the first time in years, parts of the city of Kagoshima reported ashfall thick enough to disrupt transport and darken the sky. Lauea, a Pacific Echo. Thousands of miles away on the big island of Hawaii, instruments at the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory were also detecting unusual tremors. Kalauea, one of the most studded volcanoes in the world, began to stir. On May 2nd, lava reappeared within the Halema Uma'u crater after a period of relative dormancy. Fissures opened along the crater floor, ejecting lava fountain more than 100 feet high. Tourists were evacuated and national park access was restricted. Drone footage showed lava cascading over recent rock formations, reigniting the landscape with a fiery glow. A sulfur-rich plume rose from the crater and was visible for miles. This eruption, though smaller than Sakurajima's, was sudden and unpredicted, especially considering the lack of prior warning signs. It raised urgent questions. Could these distant eruptions be linked to the Yellowstone event? The theory of global volcanic coupling. Until recently, the idea that geysers in Wyoming could influence volcanic systems in Japan or Hawaii would have been dismissed as pseudoscience. 